So scholars' rocks or taihu stones were considered a point of focus in a garden, places where scholars would gather to discuss issues of the day and share ideas. So this was our starting point for the meaning of a library, a point of focus, a place that drew people together to share ideas. My name is Chris Hardy and I'm an architect. Shanghai Library has one of the largest physical collections in the world. Not only be the largest library in the city, but also one of the largest libraries in both China and the world. In 2016, we were lucky to be selected as part of an international competition, searching for the design and an architect for Pudong's ambitious new library to serve its growing population. the new Shanghai Library East in Pudong had the chance to be a true library for the future and embrace a term we call collection to connection. That a library can become a place for the citizens of Pudong to connect, not only with themselves, but also their city. There are, of course, many things to consider when designing a library of this scale. Now the scale of the library allows us to provide nearly 6,000 seats and it hosts a programme of more than 200 lectures and thousands of various academic activities every year. And annually it's expected to host up to 4 million people. In the library there are a number of robots using artificial intelligence from book sorting to helping visitors check out media to directing them around the space. And they can help you check out a book but also deliver a book to your seat. And I've called Shanghai my home for over 12 years. Both my children were actually born in Pudong and we often spend time between the library and the other cultural buildings and the nature and the green space that surrounds them. I don't, know, I don't know how to say the word. Now, Shanghai Library East has a very privileged location next to Century Park, which happens to be the largest public park in Shanghai. So from Shanghai Library itself, of course, you can visually connect with Century Park. We spent a lot of time in this park before we began even designing, and it became our first inspiration. In Pudong, not only Century Park itself, but the, the area surrounding it is very green, and this makes it a very livable city. You will love taking street photos. So this is Luja's way through my eyes. Shanghai is a fascinating city. Pudong, and especially Luja's way, have naturally become the symbol for modern China. The skyline is famous all over the world and it's constantly changing, not just with commerce, but cultural also. I don't see many cities in the world with such focus on raising the livability and cultural facilities as Shanghai. I always say that a library is the city's gift to its citizens and in a way being able to take part in this I feel that it's my gift to the city. Well I very much plan to stay in Shanghai, the, the city has become my home. I look forward to contributing more to this amazing city.